Good morning and welcome to Monday Morning Coffee. I'm Donna and just in case you've never joined me before on Monday Morning Coffee, it's where I give my thoughts, opinions, share God's Word and give an update for what's happening during the week. So, got my coffee and I got the Word and I have some thoughts today about some other things that I've been pondering on and got some updates for us. So, um, I hope everybody had a lovely weekend. I had a busy weekend, starting with Friday afternoon. Came home, did a lot of crafting, ran to the post office, got things done and out. Yay! Um, Saturday, I was up at the early wee hours of the morning. We had a yard sale at my church. And it's, it was different than a regular yard sale in that everything was free. So we do this about twice a year, um, every six months. Oh, hold on one second. <coughs> Excuse me. I was trying to hit the pause button, but I couldn't wait. Um, but we have um, this amount every six months where we, um, we, we get furniture and clothes and household items and different things like that. And we have a free yard sale. Because um, there's a lot of people out there with need. And um, even shopping thrift stores and stuff is beyond some people's budgets. And so... We um, do this to try to help out those in our community that need a little hand. So we did that. I got out of there. Got home a little after 2. And then I went to Charlotte to see Shaniqua. She was having a Halloween party. And um, unfortunately, everybody was running late um, getting there. And so I didn't get to stay for the full party. Because um, I don't drive at night very often. Especially up in Charlotte and it was getting dark and I had to get out of there so sorry Shaniqua she knows I live her but I uh I couldn't stay for the whole time but let me tell you what that girl can cook mm, she had some yummy food and she fixed me a plate to take home with me so yeah and then I got kind of twisted around getting home because as it was getting dark you know the lights flashed you know the reflect off different things and so I got in the wrong lane, got turned around, pulled into the fire station, and got the GPS out. <laughs> anyway, I got home. And thank you, Teresa Salowix, for talking to me all the way home. Because, you know, I don't like being by myself driving at night. And so she kept me company all the way home. So yesterday I went to church and um, had a lovely church service. We had um, every fifth Sunday we have... Um, a potluck and yesterday we did Oktoberfest oh my goodness there was so much food there and so it was all about Oktoberfest it was all those foods we had brats and we had borscht and we had um we had hot dogs for the kids <laughs> but we had all kind of German potato salad um somebody made chili I mean we just had a whole array of food and sweets to, just galore yeah so yeah Donna didn't diet yesterday <laughs> and um but then you know yesterday afternoon I came home and just kind of relaxed a little bit I actually fell asleep for a while took a nap and so I just relaxed yesterday and so today is a new day and I'm up and running and getting ready to go to work in a little bit and then come home and work on some projects and yeah so anyway um, as you know I always start our Monday morning coffees off with um, Jesus Calling and today is no exception and um, I have read it this morning matter of fact I've read it a couple of times this morning because um, it's got a really good message this morning and so um, that I need to pay attention to once in a while but it says learn to listen to me even while you are listening to other people as they open their souls to your scrutiny you are on holy ground you need the help of my spirit to respond appropriately ask him to think through you live through you love through you my own being is alive within you in the person of the Holy Spirit. If you respond to others' needs through your own unaided thought processes, you offer them dry crumbs. 
When the Spirit empowers your listening and speaking, my streams of living water flow through you to other people. Be a channel of my love, joy, and peace by listening to me as you listen to others. And that comes from Exodus 3, 5, and then 1, and then 3, 5, and then 1 Corinthians 6, 19, and John 7, 38 through 39. So, how often do we listen to others when we're, lis when we're listening to other people? I mean, how often do we listen to God when we listen to other people? When someone tells us something, um, are we quick to respond and um, have knee-jerk reactions? Or do we, you know, ask God to flow through us and let Him speak through us so that we can uh, respond appropriately without sometimes the harshness of what things we say or um, just... Um, crazy advice and stuff so it's important to see God's counsel in all that we really do and say and that leads us to another point this morning another thing that I want to talk about this morning um, we had um, in our sermon this for the past we, we were talking about the law and um, the gospel and how that relates to each other but I was thinking, oh my goodness, sorry guys, I'm looking out the door and I see this cute little bunny running across, crawling hot under the trees, because they know I'm about to bring the dogs out. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, whew. Um, but I was thinking about how blessed I am um, for the friends that I've made in my life. <laughs> And so I started digging, and actually, um, I found something about it in my prayer journal, which is this one right here that I got, that I've been working through, and I actually don't work through it in order, I know, but it's not dated, so, but I found some things in here about the blessings of friendship, and also in, um, uh, in the Bible, and so, you know, friendship is a, a privilege, and we're blessed to have friends. We're blessed to have brothers and sisters in Christ, but not all friendships are very easy. Some are more difficult than others, and I'm, I'm sure that we all know um, friendships that we have that can be difficult, but... Um, uh, we need to learn to temper how we approach things, um, showing love and kindness to all our friends and to those that we meet. And, um, you know, we need to ask the Lord to show us how to be friends, our, our friendly self, in every situation. And... Um, I had the opportunity, blessed opportunity last night to talk to Peggy E. Um, for a while. And talking to her really brought this to light to me. Um, you know, about what friendship is, how to be a friend. Um, what God would expect from us as a friend. And so, there's a couple of verses that... Um, I found one is Proverbs 18:24, and it says a man that has friends must show himself friendly and that is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother and then the other one I found um, is ooh, um, it's from a Greek Bible that um, I have an Aramaic Greek Bible that's in um, written in English and so the New Testament is our uh, and part of the Old Testament and part of the New Testament was written in um, Greek and Hebrew well the Old Testament is mostly in Hebrew and the New Testament is mostly in Aramaic um, Greek but um, so I have those um, translations and so I like to read out of those because most of the time they, they translate uh, late, very literally, word for word. 
And so this one I really love, and I have to credit Teresa Salowitz for sharing this verse with me a while back. It says, and this is Proverbs 27, 9, and it says, As oil and fragrance, fragrances give joy to the heart, so is that so is he that is sweet to his neighbor and the counsel of his soul. And then um, in another translation it says, Oil and perfume make the heart glad, so a man's counsel is sweet to his friend. So, you know, even the Bible talks about friendship and what we should be as friends. So, just the prayer today is, Dear Lord, help me be someone who encourages friendships instead of sowing discord wherever I go. Let me instead be a beacon of joy. Put those in my path where I can minister to and who, is in, and who in turn can minister to me. I want to drink deeply from the well of friendship so that I may know one of the greatest joys this world has to offer. Thank you for this wonderful gift. Amen. And thank you all for being my friend and for um, supporting me through some difficult times, supporting my channel. Um, it means the world to me. So thank you for being a friend. And if I can ever help you as a friend, let me know, and I will if I can. Okay, so let's talk about this week. Now, I know last week was kind of weird. I didn't have a lot of the same things that I have every week because I was trying to play catch up. I do have some things coming out this week that will be um, kind of getting back on track. Uh, I may have um, something this afternoon. I'm not sure. But tomorrow we will have Dollar Tree Tuesday. And then Wednesday I am going to have a craft to share on Wednesday. Thursday we'll have card design Thursday and then if I get mail I'll probably do that on Friday. And then Saturday I'm actually going to do Shake It Up Saturday this week. Um, we've extended it another month and I've you know I've just been so busy trying to get things done. Um, I haven't really had time to, to put any thought and stuff into it but I'm going to do Shake It Up Saturday this Saturday. And then um, and that is hosted by um, Lala's Creations 12, Shaniqua. And then on um, Sunday, of course, I'll have Plan With Me Design Group. Now, I've also haven't done that in the last couple of weeks, but, um, you know, I will be back into my planner. So, um, on, also on Tuesday, well, actually, no, I'll take that back. On Friday, I will be announcing my challenge. And um, on my challenge, um, every year I um, do a little Christmas party and I hand out Christmas cards and little bears for the Levine's Cancer Children's Hospital. Um, it's right, you know, it's up the road for me. And every year we have so many children that are there and it's sad it is so sad to see me so many children sick but um i started out usually having about 40 kids maybe 50 kids last year we had uh a right around 105 kids and this year they already told me that they will probably have about 120 kids so um I'll just give you a little heads up about the challenge. I'm going to need some help making some Christmas cards. Um, and then also, um, I have a senior citizen um, uh, place that I also do cards for. That um, And I need about mm, 100 of those cards. <laughs> yeah, so that's just give you a heads up. That's what it's probably is. That's what it's going to be about. So, um also, oh yeah, this is exciting because um, I promised somebody something. Hold on one moment. Okay, back. So, I had um, told Peggy E. she was wanting to learn how to make a junk journal out of a book. And so, I got this book the other day um, from the Dollar Tree. 
And no, I didn't pay fifteen twenty nine for it. That's what this book cost, I guess. Um. Anyway, um, I got it from the Dollar Tree, and on Thursdays until I finish it, every Thursday on my Facebook page, um, we're gonna have a live tutorial every Thursday at five o'clock, and I'm gonna show you how to do a junk journal. And so if you want to do it along with us, it starts this Thursday at 5. Um, my thing is freezing up now. You need to get a book. And um, a hardback book would be best. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. But this is a book that is, if you'll look at the binding here. It looks like every page is individually glued in. That's the kind of book that you need. So you don't really need one that has lots of little signatures in it. It's harder to rip out and it's just kind of harder to do. So, uh, But if you want to find a book, it doesn't matter what size book it is. Um, this one is like 392 pages. So it doesn't really matter. Um, it doesn't have to have a cover on it. So, like I said, it doesn't matter what kind of book it is. Um, everything's going to be covered up anyway. So, um, that's going to start this Thursday on my Facebook group at 5 o'clock. And um, I will put the link to my Facebook group down in the description box below. So, go on over and join the Facebook group if you haven't done so yet. Okay, so make sure you go over to um, look in the link below and get that information about the Facebook um, channel. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm doing a shout out this morning to my friend, Shell Radcliffe. It's her birthday. Happy birthday, Shell. And um, also to my pastor, Kent Reader. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, pastor. Um... And if I miss anybody else's birthday, happy birthday to you as well. And, okay, so the last thing is my little giveaway day. I only have one today because um, I just, I didn't have anything, basically, the group together for another one. And I'm trying to watch my postage here. But, um, so what I did was I compiled all the names from... Um, all the comments on my videos for the week and then um, I just put them in one two three four five six seven eight order and I just do it on random.org and so the winner this week is Peggy Strong so congratulations Peggy and let me show you what you won so this is a little book that says blessed every day and it's a little um, sticker book it's got little tabbies on it like little sticky notes or whatever so you want that and that's the front and then um, you also want a little notepad with a magnetic code this is from uh, Crown Jewels it is it says uh, this nest is blessed or bless our nest I'm sorry bless our nest and then this one says, so blessed. So those are the three little items that you'll be getting. Um, you have 24 hours to get in touch with me and give me your address. If not, then I will draw somebody else. But I hope you do. Congratulations, Peggy. She is one of my newer subscribers. And I actually have a project coming out for her this afternoon. Today is the deadline for her. She had a, hollow, a little challenge, and her challenge was to make a mussy, a tussy muff, a tussy mussy, okay? Um, I've never made one before, but I know how to do it, so I'm going to try to put one of those together this afternoon. All right, and get it on, and you didn't have to send it in. You just have to um, make it and do a little video of it, and then um, let her know, and then you're entered into her giveaway. 
And so um, I'm, I'm going to have that up this afternoon for her. Anyway, guys, I just want to say have a blessed, blessed day and a week. And um, enjoy each other. And make sure that you're a good friend to whoever needs a friend. All right. Much love to you all. Bye.